nice and quiet out uh, here this morning. Mm. I'm gonna try and get in another we're another 30 miles in today or so. Yeah, at least 30 miles today. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, did about 28 yesterday. I'm gonna do about 30 today. Yeah, so yeah. I'm out here. It's quiet in nature as you can see. It's real quiet. I'm just listening to these birds. Just you know, making noise and I'm doing what birds do. Uh, so I'm just out uh, here. Hey, yeah, just listening to nature. You know. And a lot of these noises is because these things are trying to warn me that warm weather's on its way to me. You know, which uh, believe it or not that's why we've been going up and up and down with the weather lady. So I'm still a little grouchy to sleepy. I'm just warming up. So I've got like about maybe in about 19 more miles to go. Hmm, this is mile 11 or so, whatever I want to call it. And... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm thinking except for the moment. I'm thinking about this present moment. But well, when I was uh, doing my calisthenics and yoga this morning, I heard one voice that said patient. What oh, patient? really means I need to slow down with the push-ups, the way I breathe, the way I turn my body, and it will slow down while I'm running. So I'm thinking, wow, the whole essence of this. Let me see if I can see this. I'm fine. <laughs> All is well. <laughs> Yeah, so the whole essence of this is to be able to slow down and feel the breath. All is well, all is well. I'm just out here doing my daily little routine. Today I'm going to do about 30 miles. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I'm just enjoying this nature, just breathing and thinking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, today I can't even say what emotion it is, but it's just uh, yeah, it's just one of those days where just finding that peace. Mm. So yesterday I think I had a yeah I think I had around twenty eight miles yesterday and. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Let me see if I can read this. I'm in the moment. Not doing in the moment. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm really in the present. You know, in the present means right now I should worry about anything. All I'm just focusing on is just this thing around me right here. You know, just listening to this noise. Yeah, so I think I got up a little late this morning. I wouldn't say too late. Got up at 2 30. You know, I have to prepare myself mentally, sense still, stretch, and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty much just to slow things down and just be observant about what is around you. Yeah, because it's funny, a lot of things that we miss because we're such in a hurry. We don't get to see things, you know. Like I'm looking at all this right now. It's amazing, you know. This thing called nature, you know, what it is, how it feels, how it thinks. So it's really amazing. It's really amazing. So being in the moment and just observing nature, you know, how it operates. 
that's just it right now, being at this present moment. Nothing else really matters, but just now. Yeah, that's the stage, just now. Yeah, I'm out here on the trail. I'm going to do another 30 miles today. And today, slow down. Take a moment to observe. Even just by listening to our breath, the way it comes in and out. It is so funny when you, the more you stretch your body, especially yoga. And I keep saying it because yoga touches on birth. How we are called up in a woman stomach. It is so amazing how that flexibility, we never lose it once we become, become an adult. The only thing that we gain is just that the stress of life takes away all this flexibility. You know, and that's why I always tell people, I knew I can run a hundred miles when I saw a woman give birth. Especially when I saw my ex give birth to my son, I really knew I could run a hundred miles. And from that moment on, you know, and I know people always look at it crazy when I say tap into your feminine energy. No, you gotta be balanced. There's a spiritual essence to understanding the feminine energy because you become balanced and you're able to do things with your body that you don't even believe. You know, we set our goals on material things, but we never actually set our goals on <laughs> seeing just how gravity pulls you. Every second of the day, this thing called gravity pulls you without you even realizing it. <laughs> without realizing it, this thing called gravity pulls you every single second of the day. It does. <laughs> it's amazing. It really does pull you. We do not realize it. We don't pay attention to it, but it really does. So today, you know, I'm just out here. Just looking at all this right here, you know, and uh, like I was saying yesterday, I've literally run a marathon every weekend. I mean, running 26 miles, it's not even a big deal, you know. And I see how people make a big deal out of it. And I was like, if a woman can push out a baby, trust me, 26 miles, 100 miles, lifting weight, doing all these things, but it is just, you know, it, it, it can't compare to it. But of course, you know, we, uh, we don't think in the metaphysic way. We don't study that spiritual aspect of things, you know. A lot of our spirituality is based on emotions, so it will be very difficult to understand the essence, you know, of the woman's, you know, endurance and how we, we, she was able to get there. You know, to these little tiny things, and next thing you know, become a big head like I do. <laughs> so, like I always say, you know, big up respect. And people always ask me, oh, you run all these miles. Study yoga. I'm not saying take a yoga class. Study yoga and <laughs> realize Mother Nature. And when we mean Mother Nature, if there's ever a G-O-D, it has to be a woman. Yes, a woman gave life. And all these brothers that has been mentioned in all these texts has never pushed out anything yet. So I'm just saying, that's what I believe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my way of looking at things. So, but other than that, you know, I'm out here today, 11 miles. So I've got another 17 more to go to my 28 or 30 mile destination. And I'm just kind of just relaxing and I'm sort of getting into it you know I'm on the trail you know just in case it rains so like I always say take a yoga class I'm telling you breathe into the body this is 2020 it is the elevation year it's a century where you gotta look at yourself metaphysically you can't just look at yourself as the ordinary person no more you one has to realize that I'm looking at God as I look through this camera. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. As I look through this camera, I am looking at God. <laughs> Whatever way you want to put it. <laughs> as I am looking at this camera, 
I am looking at good. So let me go ahead, finish this uh, easy 30 mile run. You know, because uh, a marathon these days is just like a warm up. Uh, and it's not a show off, it's just when you begin to meditate, 26 miles is not really a big deal. <laughs> yes. The only reason why 26 miles is a big deal is because of our ego. But when you take the ego out of it, running 26 miles every weekend, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> anyway, see you tomorrow. This is going to be my last, you know, long run on the weekends like this. I do about 60 miles uh, within the weekend. But eventually, I want to be, start being able to do 100 miles on Saturdays and Sundays, like do 50 Saturday, 50 Sunday. So as you can see, gradually I'm building up. So I'm stuck within that 31 day, 30 the other day, but, <laughs> you know, by the summertime. And that's the thing about, especially when it comes to endurance running, it means you're studying everything. You read, you meditate. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, let me enjoy this weather, you know, being this moment. <laughs> you know, so take a yoga class. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Because yesterday I was out here for another seven hours, another two days, another seven. Take a yoga class. This is not a book that's written. This is me. You're looking at me right now. Take a yoga class. Breathe into the body. Watch what you eat and watch what chemicals you put in your body. <laughs> Till next time, let me finish this 30 miles for today. And one love.